today in this Mojo for Industry Development debate on electrical equipment safety and system efficiency with advanced measurement powered by TESTO. We are pleased to welcome Mr. Vimal S. Chabda, who is the instrumentation head of TESTO India. He is going to explain you about latest electrical system monitoring solutions, troubleshooting techniques via thermography, easy determination of hotspots, system overheating, short circuit, etc., and product safety features for components and users. So, welcome, Mr. Chabda. Thanks a lot, uh, Shubhajit. So what happens primarily when electric current flows through a conductor or any media, it generates heat inside the conductor. And that is the reason you need to have the right kind of conductor based on the design. So this heat which is generated is caused because of three things. One is the resistance. The other one is the time for which the current is flowing. And third is the amount of current that is flowing. While the other two reasons, which are the major reasons for generating heat, uh, the, uh, the time as well as the amount of current flows are a point of design. But the resistance is the major part which generates the heat over a period of time. And this resistance in the circuit in the starting, when there is no load condition and peak load condition, it varies and also it varies as the plant moves on as the time passes by. This varies in industry because of the wear and tear and so on. So starting from the power generation, when it moves, comes to us, it passes through various things and the major areas of losses or heat generations are transmission lines. So. As the electrons need to have free flow, any increase in resistance causes heat generation. So where do you find major generation of heat, the increase of R is in joints, junctions, connectors, or strain on cables. And not forgetting the load that we add. The load could be resistive load, inductive load, and any, uh, any other ways. So these are the reasons which cause major heat loss, and these lead to accidents, which can be fatal at times. And that is the core reason electrical safety becomes the most important parameter, not just for industrial applications, but also for household. These areas need to be checked quite frequently. So we have the insulator joints, the neutral joint, the transformer fins for heat dissipation, and so on and so forth. So these are the different areas where people need to have a look for heat dissipation or increase in resistance, which can lead to accidents. In transmission, if we look, so insulated joints again, the phase conductor because of the length and sagging, the spaces that hold the conductors, the earth wire which is at the top of a transmission tower, the jumper conductor and the joints. So these become very important areas when you talk about transmission lines. When it comes to industry, okay, in your building, you have your uh, panels, electrical panels, and in the electrical panels, you have a lot of joints from bus bar to many other things which can have generation of heat. The switch gears, the equipment at the end. We normally use a infrared thermometer, a single beam infrared thermometer to find if there are temperature patterns or temperature uh, or heat generation. Whenever we find any kind of a problem, 
or we just use a electrical clamp meter or something to trace if there are problems but it's very difficult by using these tools to find exactly where the problem is whether it is on the connector whether it is on the switch and so on so to reduce your loss or breakdown thermography can be carried out in a scheduled manner then when you do thermography the problems that one person has to uh, face or he has to do the work is sorting and storing of the data or the images becomes very important for them so they need to take the images and they also need to store them right so that they can trace back from where they were taken the next very important point comes is about understanding and analyzing the data because thermography is not just about having uh the image but you need to analyze the information that is shared by the image which is in terms of the thermal pattern and for better performance one needs to always compare it with the signature reading so the signature reading when we talk about industry or any electrical equipment is coming from the no load condition or the ideal design condition uh, image is always termed as the signature image reporting has to be equally important because unless you don't report it in the right way and quick it's difficult for a person uh, to take the corrective actions and the more time you lose uh, the chances of problems can be much and for all these reasons carrying out the measurements with safety is a must so while doing thermography uh, you cannot do thermography without opening a electrical panel just as an example or if you have a motor you can't do it with uh, you know uh, something which is covering the motor so you need to uncover that but then you need to maintain a good safe distance while carrying out and that's the point when we talk about safety so thermal imaging cameras uh, you have single lens you have double lens you have three lens possibility and so on based on your application so the closer or wider the object you have you normally go with a single wide angle lens but as you go with a distance and smaller objects you need to go with the right telephoto lens so you have a option of going with a wide angle lens a normal lens a tele lens and a super tele lens it was uh, how to work smart in today's world we need to do work faster so testo introduces one of a kind devices which can be integrated with multiple things so at one end you can connect your thermography device with an electrical meter which is a clamp meter which helps you to measure the load condition the power the electrical uh, 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 parameters with the thermal imager and the thermal imager at the other end can be connected to your smart uh, device which can be a tablet or even your uh, uh, even your smartphone now using these devices at one end you are measuring multiple parameters you are trying to analyze what is the load condition uh, and so on at the other end you are able to generate the report simultaneously to share it with your customer or your colleague in the plant so you need to have the right tool which can work easily and help you to work in time and also save your time by generating the reports from the system so human safety comes as the most important point when we are talking about this so first is when you are selecting a device from the safety perspective choose the right lens wide angle lens for panel room short distance wide subject medium angle for transformers large subjects for a tele lens for distribution lines switch yards and so on a super tele lens for transmission lines for various joints and so on so based on your workload define the best tools for you as far as the thermography is concerned as part 1 as per a study in the us uh the electrical personnels get injured or even get killed at work because of wrong tools or accidents uh which happen by mistake 
it's not deliberate, but that happens by mistake. And this can be very expensive. It can also cause a life. For that, we should always use infrared windows, which can be mounted on the electrical panels. So you do not need to open the electrical panels for carrying out the thermography. You can mount these infrared windows on the electrical panel. You open the windows and carry out the thermography. So when I say that you are opening the window, does not mean that you are exposing the panel directly to the atmosphere, but there is a special polymer which allows the infrared radiations to pass through and people can carry out thermography with utmost safety. Additionally, if there are very critical parameters on the electrical panel or you have transformers or you have certain circuits or capacitors for which you need to have continuous monitoring, we also have option of having a continuous monitoring of the panel or the electrical subjects uh, and you can take your readings. Now, how do these things help you? Your inspections become much more faster with lesser manpower. So when you do normal thermography of electrical panels and all those things, you need to have at least two to three people, one person to open the panel, or one person to close the panel and do thermography, uh, another person to note down the readings and so on and so forth. So with the functionalities, what we have spoken, you can do faster inspection with lesser manpower. So if you already have an IR window on your panel, you just open up the panel, you do your thermography. If you have a barcode outside, you can scan it and you can have the image directly stored into the folder where you want. So no one is needed to make the notes for where it is uh, uh, images to be saved. Uh, you can increase the inspection frequency because it becomes less time consuming. In today's time, most of the companies do not prefer to have their own internal thermographer or they do not do thermography very frequently and accidents are caused because they think that the inspection is taking a lot of time. At the same time, the person needs to have a lot of technical knowledge, but with a testosterone imager, uh, no. It's kind of a safe way of finding if there are heat generations on the cables. So the operation is quite a simple way. You mount these clips on cable and you leave them over there. As the temperature raises, the color of these clips change. And if it remains in that condition for a very long time, there is a permanent change in color. And then with a visual inspection, the technician comes to know that here we have a problem. Thanks a lot, uh, Mojo, for industry for organizing this. Thank you so much, Mr. Uh, Chavra, for uh, sharing your views on uh, electrical equipment safety and uh, system efficiency with advanced measurement. Someone is asking, what are the factors that lead to bus bar overheat, overheating or termination and uh, termination and overheating? Uh, the major uh, uh, reasons even for bus bar overheating is uh, uh, rusting over a period of time and loose contact uh, which gets generated uh, over a period of time. Uh, the bus bar also gets overheated uh, because of uh, uh, frequency uh, issues. At the same time, uh, load balancing, if you have an issue with that, the bus bar gets heated. But if you talk about the terminal uh, heating, 80% the chances are that the terminal heating is because of not good contact in the area, which could be because of uh, loose contact, some kind of dirt while uh, uh, the installation was being done and so on. Or wrong insulation. Uh, there is question, one question from Mr. Uh, Amit Ashapur. He is asking that what if the software of the instruments gets corrupt and at the same time, is there any backup available in the software for the data if there is any problem in testing devices? So can you just take that question as well? Oh, sure. Uh, thanks, uh, uh, Mr. Amit, uh, for this question. Uh, on the instrument, the software, which you term it as the firmware, uh, that getting corrupt is something which uh, I have not come across uh, uh, as of now, not come on my desk uh, ever, because uh, the firmware uh, normally does not get corrupt unless and until uh, when you are connecting it to the PC, you have some kind of a viral uh, thing which goes and it corrupts uh, the firmware on top of it. 
So we have not come across this, but yes, if the firmware uh, gets corrupt, there is a possibility depending on the condition what it has hurt uh, back because eventually if you know, uh, as I was talking about, if the virus is going and uh, settling on the memory area uh, in which the firmware is there and that memory card has to be completely replaced, uh, then answering to both the question uh, about, uh, you know, uh, the backup part of the images which are there on the thermal imager uh, becomes a bit of a challenge uh, to get that. But if it is only corrupted uh, firmware, then the firmware can be upgraded uh, at our service uh, lab and uh, the recovery of the images is also possible if it's only related to uh, the firmware part. Viewers, as we understand from Mr. Chavda's presentation, uh, test and measurement equipment play a critical role in checking the health of any electrical equipment. The early detection before its failure or any major deviation in the measurement value of critical electrical or any other process parameter can save catastrophic failures of an electrical equipment and can avoid the loss in terms of cost as well as availability. Therefore, the life expectancy as well as efficiency of any electrical equipment can be extended by using the right t instrument effectively. We thank program sponsor for this session, Testo India. So this concludes the workshop. For more updates, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon.